Hello and Grüß Gott. On this video we're going to talk about preparing to put on a turbo kit on a 1997 Toyota 4Runner 2.7 liter four-cylinder engine and this would also apply to some Tacoma models as well. So in order to prepare we want to understand the engine's health first. So one of the things we did was we checked the compression and it's a little bit low but not out of spec so Compression is fine. It has about 170,000 miles on this engine. We do change the oil frequently, so it's in really pretty good condition. So you're going to want to do that. We made a video of this on YouTube where you can get an idea of how to check it yourself if you wish. Also, um, we check the valve clearances, and there's a video we have for that. And you want to make sure that the, in particular, the exhaust valves are not too tight because um, the engine is going to be in a little, under a little more stress with a turbo. So you want to make sure everything's working right. And while you have it sort of apart like we have it now, while we're getting ready to start um, getting set up for the kit, um, you want to also check for things like little broken plastic pieces. We found several little pieces broken. And if you look on our valve adjustment video, our valve check video, um, you'll see a lot of the part numbers for the, a lot of the little wiring loom pieces that um, are real hard to find from Toyota. I listed out the part numbers. And you can order them from a good source is Olath Toyota. Um, we order most of our parts from them because they have really good online prices. So now you've checked the general health of the engine <clears throat> and you want to make sure everything's fine there. Well, also you're going to make some measurements for the turbo kits because the kits are generally offered by two companies, KO Racing or LC Engineering. Um, LC Engineering makes not only turbo kits, but they make a whole lot of accessories and items to improve the performance of your Toyota engines. So they're a great resource for that. Uh, we actually chose the KO Racing turbo kit because we got a smoking deal on it um, at Christmas time. They had a Christmas special, so we decided to go ahead and order from them, save about $700, uh, maybe only $500, but we saved a good amount of money. So. Um, one thing you have to do is you're going to have to understand um, how the catalytic converter attaches to your exhaust manifold. They had, I guess, a few different versions. So we're going to go underneath the truck and I'll show you how we measured ours. And that's an important item to know. So we'll get under there and I'll show you what we're going to do next. One thing I forgot to mention is before you get ready to pull the exhaust manifold off, you're going to need to get some PB blaster and you're going to want to spray all of the uh, nuts like for the cover here the ones that actually hold it to the engine and then the um, EGR tube that goes over here you're going to want to spray all those with PB blaster a few times over a few days before you're ready to pull it apart so that everything will come apart easily you might even want to take some um, uh, a wire brush and clean if there's any rust or anything in there that needs to be taken off so it'll come off easier. So now I'm gonna get underneath and show you some measurements. One of the measurements we wanna make underneath here is from the front of the bell housing up there to where the catalytic converter either welds on or there could be a bolt on flange here depending on the version. So on our case, from the front of the bell housing to here is just a little over 14 inches to this weld. So that's gonna help us determine the size of the replacement catalytic converter we have to get and it'll help the uh, company that's making the turbo kit know how far down to bring this exhaust pipe and where the flange meets. You have to understand all those flange measurements so they can make it correct for your truck because there's different, slight different versions from different years and whether it's a Tacoma or a 4Runner. So that's the measure, measurement you're going to make under here that you'll need and you'll also need to know how long your catalytic converter is. So you want to measure that as well. And that's about all you do underneath here. One more thing you need to measure is the diameter of the catalytic converter pipe. That's an important thing to know because you'll need to know that for the type of mating flange and gasket that go with it. With your turbo, you're going to need to have two gauges that you're going to need to mount someplace you can see them. One is the air fuel ratio gauge and the second one is the boost gauge. A lot, of, a lot of people mount them up here on the pillar. You can get some special pillar mounting kits that are supposed to be matched to the particular color of your Tacoma or 4Runner. Um, 
but we kind of figured it's kind of in the way and you're not gonna really be able to see it it might be better to mount it on the passenger side if anything but we just don't like the pillar mount at all so we're gonna to try to mount ours down in the center console area down in here where this empty spot is we think it should fit two gauges in here exactly so we're gonna uh, come up with a system to mount them here and run the uh, wiring or tubing out through a grommet on the firewall so um, I'll show you some of the parts you're gonna have to buy in order to do the kit and I'll be right back okay some of the ancillary equipment you have to buy in order to do a turbo installation are things like this is a turbo smart boost gauge it's made in Australia and if you can notice here on the uh, gauge it goes down to minus 30 inches of mercury that's important because some of the Toyotas have a good amount of vacuum on the manifold and so you want one that has that long range um, over here we have an air fuel ratio gauge so um, that's going to show you how your air fuel mixture ratio is and then we bought this gauge mount that goes with these particular gauges so we can mount it in the center console and then for um, the oil return back to your um, oil pan you're going to need a high flow fuel cell sit fitting and you can either um, get one that welds on and some of the uh, turbo companies offer a Toyota oil pan with a welded on fitting or in our case we're going to cut a hole in the pan and install this fitting and so you need that for the oil return then you're going to be removing some of the um, hoses on on the top of the valve cover so you're going to need a collector for any oil vapor that comes out so we have this one here that we're going to mount and the kits usually come with some kind of filter or something you can put on top of the valve cover but uh, we want to collect the oil with a catch can so it looks nice and neat and doesn't leave um, oil vapors all inside the hood and of course you'll need miscellaneous silicon hoses and as we do the install we'll uh, talk to anything that we're missing here but we think this should cover everything that you need in order to do a complete turbo install plus whichever kit you select either from LC Engineering or KO Racing so that's about it just wanted to talk about how to get your system prepped and then hopefully soon we'll have a video on how it installed and um, we'll see how good it does. So thanks for watching. Tschüss.